What's up everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. On today's video, I've got the new 2024 release of a Midwinter Night's Dram. This is Act 12, specifically Scene 6. Okay, so a Midwinter Night's Dram. For some reason, this bottle this year looks a lot more like... Uh, they put a lot more bubbles into the bottle, it seems like, to make it kind of look like a snowy winter night or something along those lines. This uh, engagement is coming in at 49.3%, the limited engagement, of course, from High West. On the back, it says, Are you sure that we are awake? It seems that to me that yet we sleep, we dream. Like the works of our favorite playwright, William Shakespeare, a glass of a winter, winter night's dram is made to be saviored and all and overall too quickly. This limited release whiskey is a sumptuous marriage of rye whiskeys finished in port barrels. The rye forms a beautiful base of vanilla, caramel, cinnamon, while the port barrels provide notes of plum, dried fruit, and spice. Like a proper holiday plum pudding, it's brimming with lovely mulling spices, dried fruits, and creme anglaise. Sip it slowly and through the coldest of nights. So, we're gonna open this one up, try it today, rank it on the tier system. I have always liked these releases. I've got a few years of them, including one from like seven, eight years ago that maybe one day I'll pull them all out and see if they're as good now as they used to be. Uh, I think last year's was all right, but maybe didn't live up to the hype of it normally. So we'll see what uh, 2024's has in store for us today. Let's pop the top, get the nose ink straight out of the bottle. Yeah, I mean, it's always an impeccable nose. These things are always like drinking Christmas or Thanksgiving in a glass generally is what these taste like. It smells amazing on the nose. We're gonna go ahead and pour this thing into the glass, get the nosing out of the glass, get the tasting out of the glass, rank it on the tier system. I'm excited. Wasn't really planning on picking this one up, but then I was in my local favorite store, Marketplace Wine and Spirits in California, Maryland, and he had one in there, paid like $159 for it. So I think it's like nine bucks over MSRP, but hey, that's fine. In general, these are the MSRP, I think, is too high on these as it is, but they are very good. They're putting out a lot more of them than they used to. Back in the day, it used to be much harder to uh, get your hands on these, but these days it's a little bit easier. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the nosing straight out of the glass. Before we do, do me one big favor. Hit like, hit subscribe on the channel. Free for you means a lot for me, and consider hitting that join button down below. All right, a mid-winter night's dram, act 12, on the nose. Yeah, it's like a butterscotch pecan, caramel, maybe like a uh, like a dried fruit on there, some kind of dried fruit. I don't know if it's a cherry. Definitely butterscotch, definitely baking spices, caramel. It smells really, really nice. I gotta say that, it does smell really, really nice. So I am excited to uh, drink this one today. Sorry about that little cut on my head. I got attacked by my now fiance recently here, so probably deserved it, who knows. Yeah, some kind of dried fruit on there. I haven't quite decided what that dry fruit is. So, I mean, it smells like a midwinter night's dram. I'm really excited to try it. These are generally really, really good and really hard not to enjoy, even though you may think, and it probably is overpriced, generally very, very good. So I'm excited to try today. Cheers, everybody. That's person. Mm. Mm, that evolves a lot. Interesting. So first impressions was I was about to say that it has more viscosity than I was expecting. I generally wasn't expecting too much viscosity because it's, you know, under 100 proof and all that, but it had more viscosity than I was expecting. The second thing I noticed is it started with like one flavor profile, but then nicely changed and morphed into something more uh, dense and kind of holiday-y as it went on. So it definitely changed as it went through the palette, which was really interesting. It was like a substantial change that it went through. You know, sometimes things you get little hints here, little hints there, but this was like, it started one way and then it just rapidly went into a different taste profile. So I'm gonna have to break down what all those taste profiles are, but that means that it's probably Pretty complex too, which I always enjoy out of a good whiskey. So we're off to a good start here. Let's uh, let's try it again. See if I can unwrap this thing. See what these flavor notes I'm getting are. So up front, it's kind of like a white grape or a white wine. It starts with like a 
like it kind of gives me that sensation that you're drinking like a white wine from that wh that white green grape uh, type deal and then it starts to morph into those more uh, like holiday flavors the cinnamons the caramels uh, a little bit of butteriness on there uh, yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to really th it's tough because you're trying to think about what the one flavor profile is and then it starts immediately sipping into the other and then by the time you realize that it switched into the other flavor profile, you were thinking about the first one. So I might have to do a sip where I focus completely on the first flavor, flavor profile, then do a sip where I focus completely on the second flavor profile, and then maybe at the end do one final one where I kind of morph them all together again. So let's try and pick out that first one finally first. Yeah, it's like a, a white grape, a white wine with uh, some hints of spice in there. It's pretty good. I enjoy I enjoyed the beginning, but I really like what it morphs into more. So now let's see if I can pin down what it morphs into after that initial uh, lighter sweet burst. Yeah, it changes into more of a a cinnamony, buttery. There's something else in there too that I haven't quite decided what what it is, but it's like it changes into like a cinnamony, buttery something. It's got some kind of like. Uh, like underneath it all, it's got like some kind of like earthy root note. Is that how I can best describe it now? It's got some kind of earthy root note. Like I haven't been really been able to pick out what that may be exactly, but some kind of earthy root note underneath of it all. And then the finish, you're just lingering with that cinnamon, some, uh, uh, some like toasted nuts. Uh, maybe a hint of wood on there and those uh, caramel type uh, buttery flavors. So yeah, one, on the positive, it is definitely complex. You can definitely sit here and think about this one while you're drinking it and it really morphs in the mouth, which I like a lot. Now the question is, what do I think about it as a whole? Put together into the package, the new Midwinter Nights Dram release, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is that this is definitely different than some of the more recent releases of mid of a Midwinter Night's Dram. It seems different. I don't remember getting that like light grapey uh, white wine note on them before. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it's it's good. It's definitely good. Is it $150 good? I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of hard to say. But I I always enjoy a Midwinter Night's Dram. They're always good. The bottles always look super great. I mean. The labeling on these things, it's just like, it, I pretty much only ever drink these during the winter time. It's like when you're supposed to drink this, this type of thing, right? It's Christmas, it's Thanksgiving in a glass. This one feels more of like a celebratory Christmas or Thanksgiving because it's got those more notes on it. And I know it was finished in red wine barrels, so it's weird to say that it was finished, it tastes like white wine, but <laughs> that's what I'm getting out of it, so... All right, let me pour a little bit more into the glass here, finish it off, and we'll rank it on the tier system. I don't know if you can see now now that like there's like bubbles in the glass coming through, kind of makes it look like it's snowing throughout the bottle. Really cool uh, little feature on there. All right, so if you haven't been with my channel before, I rank everything on a tier system. It's going to pop up right here so this is generalities and within the tiers are like tiers itself so like a tier can have like a plus a minus stuff like that so take it for what it's worth i have been doing this a while now several years and i've got several hundred bottles that i have reviewed at this point so you know take it for what it's worth but let me know down in the comments below where you think this year's release of a midwinter night's dram should be on the tier system so one last sip and let's rank it yeah it's good I like that it's complex. I like that it's got a little bit of viscosity to it. I like how the flavors morph. I just don't know if I like the flavors as much as I remember liking it in the past. So for that reason, this year's 2024 release of a Midwinter Night's Dram, Act 12, for me, it's gonna go B tier. It's gonna go B tier for me today. I honestly thought it was gonna be a little bit higher. I had been hearing good things about it, but and obviously it's not bad to be on B tier. That means it's very good whiskey. It's just, I don't know. Something about it is not quite where some of the other releases of it I have had in the past have been. So maybe at some point I'll try and dig out my previous year's releases and do a blind of 
all the midwinter nights that I have. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that because that'll take some work to go find all the bottles buried in the basement while we're building the house with the whiskey room, which is coming along, by the way. The whiskey room is now framed out. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty cool when we get there one day. But yeah, it's going on the B tier for me today. Let me know what you guys think of the 2024 release of the Midwinter Night's Dram, and I'll see you for your next drink.